Okay, I wanted to do a video on if if somebody has your 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 catalyst incomplete and you go here and you go to I am readiness, you know, you have this stupid scanner hooked up to your OBD2, right? And you go to I am readiness, right? And you look at it and you see you see this. Catalyst incomplete. This one right here. If you see this, then you see evap incomplete too. They're, they're probably, both of them are probably going to be incomplete because you disconnected the battery because you were installing a subwoofer and it didn't end up working anyway. Um, but if you did that, then you're going to be in the same boat as me. And you're going to need to do exactly what I'm telling you or else it's not going to work. To get the catalyst to complete, you need to drive at a certain speed and there needs to be preset conditions. So the preset conditions mean um the intake air temperature has to be at least okay if it's below 50 degrees you need to drive for seven minutes 40 to 50 miles per hour this is for toyota vehicles you need to drive for seven minutes if it's above 50 degrees you, need, you only need to drive for three minutes at 40 to 50 miles per hour. Okay. Um, now, another parameter is the temperature. Some idiot put the wrong coolant in it, so I've been flushing this stupid coolant all day. And the temperature needs to be at least 176 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, or else this test won't run. Okay. Um, on top of that, the other thing is, like I said, the intake air temperature, IAT. That's what that stands for, intake air temperature. It needs to be 50 degrees or above um, for just for you to drive for three minutes. Now, if you could find a road to drive on for seven minutes, going 40 miles an hour without stopping, you will complete this test. But if you stop, if you brake, if you go below 40, you have to redo the test. You need to shut off the car, put it in park, go on the side of the road, and start it again, and redo the whole damn thing. Okay, that's why this test is so hard. That's why so many people can't complete this stupid catalyst. Okay, um, so you're gonna drive for 40 to 50 miles per hour for, for three minutes. If everything's up to temperature, everything's good. And then you're gonna stop for 10 seconds. Okay. And then, you're going to start driving for seven minutes. Um, seven minutes at 35 to 45 miles per hour. See, it's, it's a different, it's very specific for seven minutes. Regardless of the temperature, regardless of anything, you're going to drive again for seven minutes. And by the time you're done, hopefully, this stupid catalyst, where is it? Hopefully this stupid crap right here that says cat will we'll say okay or it'll say on or whatever complete evap doesn't matter okay you can't you don't need that to pass smog that's exactly what you need to do and I'll put it in the description I'll put a link to the exact details on the page it's number three when you go on the page you're gonna see it it looks real confusing but i'll go ahead and upload it all right but that's what you need to do